Hello everybody, Preferred Selection here with some jungle exploring. Now I've been through a lot of this jungle but uh, I think that was when I was having problems with the OBS not not working right. So some of this might be new to you but mostly explore jungle, well not mostly but slightly explore jungle for me. Got some pretty good tools for it now. I've got the Star Fury, which is going to light up my minimap like crazy. And uh, I've got the Thorn Shotgun, which will probably be my weapon of choice down here. Let's just tab uh, the minimap on so that we can kind of see where we've been, where we haven't. In fact, let's M to. Yeah, there's this big chunk here that I kind of want to explore. Kind of missed all of it. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I will tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll show you what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna put down my piggy bank. I'm gonna take a teleportation potion. Pick up my piggy bank. And I'm gonna drink this. And hopefully where did that put us? What? I didn't realize they could teleport you that far. <laughs> Um, well, I was hoping that that would put us uh, somewhere cool in the jungle, but it did not. It put us over here in the unknown. Um, interesting. This cave system is nothing, I guess. So what's this way? More nothing. Okay then, well now we know that the teleportation potion can do that. I didn't realize it had that far of a range. Let's drink the other one. Oh, now we're back in... Uh, this is an area I was for a blood moon. I, I was working on the house a little, as I'll show you, since I just teleported out of the jungle where I needed to be. Yeah, I was working on the house a little. I designed a little bit of a penthouse for major league players, like the guide can live here. Who else don't I talk to much? It's people who I both like but also don't need. Um, oh, only one of the houses works because I didn't give them all chairs. Let's go give them chairs really quickly. Really quickly. They can have boreal wood chairs to go with their fancy palm wood, everything else. And let's take these regular torches up. They're too good for regular torches. There we go. Get some sapphire torches going on. And we have a guide's house. Oops. Fancy. Okay, so I've said that this was going to be a... Uh, 1.2.4 Let's Play, and so far I haven't had many chances to show off features of 1.2.4. We've seen the Molotov cocktails helped us very much in the early stages, of, the early stages of the game. They helped us uh, get through the Eater Worlds fight like it was a piece of cake, and they helped us a little bit in the jungle. I don't know if I caught that part, but yeah, I really want to show. I really want to show the potential of 1.2.4. So in order to do that, I think that I really need to get some summoning gear quickly because yeah, I could I could show you guys a lot of fishing, but I mean, how much do you, you know, how much do you really want to see me catch bass and trout because it's just going to be fishing near meteorite, such a bad idea. I'm not, all right, that's, yeah. I'll show you guys fishing in a little bit later, but for now, I just want to get down in that jungle. And I want to go explore parts of the jungle that I haven't really explored, so. Yeah, like this big chunk here. Let's, let's go. This meteor guy can follow us if he wants to. 
Our Reaver Shark will make quick work of him. Just dig straight down. I wish I had a, I wish that I had a diving helmet so that I could make the diving gear. I could even make the Arctic diving gear because I have the ice skates. But I don't know if I want to use up a warding accessory just for nothing. Get some light. Sorry, I had to take a drink there. Uh, things we are looking for in the jungle. Wow, I, I can see why this area wasn't explored. There's just nothing here. Let's use the Star Fury to see if there's... Star Fury is not giving us much light. That's okay. Water Bolt? No. I mean, the Star Fury should be... There we go. Okay. And that's how you search with the Star Fury. Oh, so I did go and I got the shadow orb from from the Eater of Worlds thing. That's that gives us You can see it doesn't give us much light. Let's take away the torch. So that's us in, that's us in near darkness. And the shadow orb the shadow orb helps, but like it it's way better than total darkness, but when you are moving quickly it becomes completely useless. I'd really like to get, to get the fairy bell or, you know, wisp in a bottle eventually, but it's 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 kind of unfortunate that the that the first good light source in Terraria is like after you fight the twins. I mean, it makes sense because they're they're a boss that deals with light, but couldn't the couldn't the pixies like drop a like a weaker version of the fairy bell, like something I don't really want to carry around a blowpipe. I think they sell for a lot, but they cause you to get seeds, and I don't like seeds. We can we can sell it from our trash if we remember that we have it. Sorry, worm. I meant to get you, but then I killed you. But yeah, I'd like a anklet of the wind, so that we can make our lightning boots. We should have enough money, since we're skipping the mini shark, we should have enough, enough money to, like, reforge things to our heart's content. Alright, we've, yeah, we've hit some, a little bit of jungle. Tiny pocket of not super useful stuff. There's some demonite. We have all the demonite we could ever need. Oh, great. We found some stuff. That sounded like a sarcastic ogre, but it was a real ogre. I don't know why it didn't sound genuine. Let's go over here to the dart trap. And uh, do we have our wire cutters on us? I don't think we do. Yeah, they're in our chest. We have. S we have like a hard mode amount of defense, so we can just walk, we can, we're getting to the point where we can walk around the jungle just, like we have 38 defense. If I popped a well-fed potion, it'd be 40. That looks like a platinum chandelier. It's a silver chandelier, that's okay. Um, I will take the skeleton statue. More Hermes boots, that's, that's good, I guess. We actually don't need... I don't know why I said that's good. It's we don't want more of those. Put a little bit of stuff away. I'm not going to do too much inventory management, but drink this swiftness potion. Is that another skeleton statue? I just put one of those away. That's weird. Um, skeleton statues aren't super useful for anything, but. I mean, they do, they, they're functional statues, and I, 
I can't just leave functional statues because I, you never know when you might want to, I don't know, make a arena to fight your friends or, or just have like, honestly, if I'm going to make an arena, I'll do it in T-Edit where I can, you know, get, where I can just do it more easily without having to grind for stuff. But what am I talking about? Yeah. Uh, uh, for the record, what I what I just said about T-Edit and arenas, I'm not talking about, like, making a Pumpkin Moon Arena for, like, playing the game. That would be cheating. I'm talking about making, like, level design. For level design, I'll, I'll do something like T-Edit. But, hey, you know, some people don't like to use T-Edit for anything or any kind of editor. And sometimes editors break, so... I don't know, maybe you're designing a level without using anything like that. And in that case, you would want functional statues, like the skeleton one. Because skeletons are pretty hard to fight. Okay, so we're getting into ter territory that we've been before. I will happily take... This is about where we found the Goblin Tinker. I wonder how we died. Apparently we died here. Um, can I not read the statue? It's weird. That looks like a death statue, but I can't read it. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Hmm, do I want to go up there? I think I do. Other things I'm looking for is I'm looking for the beehive because I really I need to put like a like a towel or something on my keyboard because I know that I hit space loudly. I'm not going to be mashing space space as much as I do now when I get later and I get the wings because I can do just more of a I don't know for some reason for the wings I do more of a tap but for the Enchanted Boomerang, excellent find. Unfortunately, like, it's cool because it makes light. Unfortunately, it's just too late in the game once we have... It's a, it's a, very, it's a very cool item, but it's just way too late in the game to, to be picking that up when we already have a godly Thorn Chakram. What's down here? Uh, that's not a useful statue, so I don't need it. Our inventory is filling up so quickly, as it tends to do in the jungle. Where'd my wooden platform go? There it is. Quick stack for putting away some stuff. Gems can go there. I don't need a lot of this stuff, but... In fact, let's not cut wires, because wires will... Wire, wires will seriously impede us in this journey. Okay. So, there's a chance that there's, like, a beehive up there. I found that they tend to be close to the corruption. But, I mean, that's... I have a pretty small sample size on that, but it seems like it happens. Let's just kind of go lower for now. This could be a little bit of a... of a mining episode, depending on if we find... things we need really quickly, or... Just in general, how it goes. Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay to just keep digging here. We might get down to hell and discover some obsidian or something like that, but... You know, honestly, if we don't find the a beehive soon... I will just go to hell to get enough obsidian to, or, yeah, to get enough obsidian, but also to get enough, 
Why am I picking up gold? I'm way past gold tier stuff. But yeah, I'll, I would go get enough, um... Hellstone is the word I'm looking for to be able to make the imp. So I really, I really, really want to get to some 1.2.4 stuff. I'd like to find a hive, but I mean, finding a hive is finding a hive. Like I can't just make one appear. Sometimes they can be really hard. This is probably the only episode of jungle exploration I'll do. If I, I mean, I will find the hive and I'll go do that, but I might do it off camera just so that you guys don't have to watch me in the jungle doing a bunch of inventory management and other stuff. Although we are seeing a lot of jungle that I haven't seen. This might be our I wish I'd brought a mining potion down here. We might find one in this chest. I don't know if you can, can you find them in chests? But yeah, this might be our anklet and with our anklet we could go back to the surface. We could go make, sorry about that. I just moved my microphone away from my keyboard a little bit. That might help with the keyboard sounds. Yes, Anklet of the Wind. How lucky are we? Loot all. Drink that Night Owl potion. It must be night. Just go straight down here. Go back up when our inventory is full and then make slightly faster boots. We will find this beehive one way or another. And we're getting through jungle pretty fast, so that's good. I don't remember if they're typically like high or low or if they have any rules they follow. I don't think that they have to be cavern layer. In fact, I'm pretty sure they can be very close to the surface, depending. Are those more diamonds? No, they're sapphires. Okay. All right. Well, this has been uh, we've uncovered a lot of the jungle, but it hasn't shown us what we need. Our inventory is not quite full, that's good. I might go all the way down to hell just so that I can just so, just so that I can get a summoning item finally. Where's my piggy bank? Yeah, okay. It makes me nervous that I keep seeing like things not be in my hotbar, but I don't know. Am I like throwing away weapons and not re realizing it or? Doesn't matter. So the, all right, just infinite diamonds in, in this world apparently. If this was, if this was Minecraft or something, we'd be set. I really wish that we had a Star Veil so that we wouldn't be taking crazy damage to stuff when we stand still. I guess I could stop standing still and just letting a bat hit me. It's always that. Using Star Veil pretty liberally because if we have um, a beehive on the map, that's one way to see it. Or not Starveil, using 
You guys know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Yeah, I'm not seeing any evidence of a beehive, but... It could just be luck. Like, bad luck, but... I mean, we got half of what we came down here for, so... Unfortunately, it's the less important half by far. Spam star veil over the star over here and see if there's anything that we... You know, such a good item. Oh, and there's a heart statue. I do like heart statues. I don't I don't value them as highly as I used to, but they are they are a decent functional statue. Wanna, yeah, still trying to make sure our inventory is not full. I don't know why I'm not like looking for life fruit or any. That's what it is. I'm so used to being down here looking for life, life fruit and chlorophyte that I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope my, my inventory is okay. Let's come down here. This chest is going to be the last thing our inventory can handle. Uh, at which point we will go back up top, make the new boots, show them off. I don't think that they're going to change very much, but yeah, let's even more Hermes boots. Our inventory is not actually totally full, but let's slash around with Star Veil a little bit more. Yeah, what's in there? Anything? What's over here? Ooh, a spider biome. This is just so nuts. I'm gonna go over to the spider biome. It's one of the few things that could actually like possibly hurt me at this point in the game. But it's it's fine. Let's see if we can find a spider chest. These seem a lot more common in world generation than they used to be. I don't know if that's just me thinking that or what exactly the deal is. Star Fury for, for exploration is way better than I previously thought. I mean, I've always like used it like this, but I've never really... You know how like sometimes you'll know that something exists, but you don't... You don't you don't really like exploit it, but yeah. Now I feel like hey, we need every we need all the help we can get to find this freaking beehive. Yeah, let's check out. And it also like does a little bit of damage to stuff over there. Star statue, I want. Barely missed a boulder there. What is. Th Lots of boulders running around. Yeah, we're taking some damage doing stuff right here. Our inventory is totally full. So I think it's time to teleport up. Look at our map. Let's see, we could cover this little area towards the corruption. I don't see any beehive that we missed. That's just thorns. It's gold. Yeah, we could go all around and see what we see. Let's talk to this traveling merchant really quickly, wherever he may be.
Looks like he's in our house. Wow, we just took some fall damage from jumping off that roof. He does not have the fishing rod I want, so... I'll just sell him a couple things. Not gold ore, because I need to make another watch. He can have my amethyst. He can have my ex one of my extra Hermes boots. Tungsten's useless. Yeah, okay, so... That's this episode. I think I'm going to go and maybe... Oh, wait, no, we still need to make the boots. We, sorry. Sorry for the false alarm there. We still need... Okay, so... Where's my piggy bank? I keep losing it. We need our anklet of the wind. Then we want our specter boots. And we want our aglet. And I think that might be it. I can't remember if there's other... I definitely have everything I need for it, but I can't remember if that's all. Yeah, that is all. So then we get fleeting lightning boots, which are okay, but I want to reforge and get something better. How much money do I want to put towards that? We have so much stuff. I'm going to sell a little bit of stuff and then reforge. I want to do a ton of selling. I'll just do... Just do what I need. There's the tinker. I have some shoe spikes, some sapphires, some silver chandeliers. And then this is going to be expensive. This is going to be like... Yeah, let's get 71 gold. Yeah, 12 gold to reforge. Wild. Brisk. Spiked. Armored is going to have to do because I just spent like 50, I spent half a platinum doing that. And uh, I mean, I can we can afford it. Like we could make that back with the jellyfish statue in no time. But yeah, all right. So a little bit of inventory management time, and then I'm going to go back into the jungle. You know what I'm also going to do? Make the ivy whip. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but I just say hey, I saw that I could craft it from what I had in the jungle. This is a really good whip. Um, it's good enough for hard mode. Better than the emerald whip. Better than the emerald hook, sort of. There's some advantages to using a hook that only grapples once, but they are they kind of boil down they boil down to play style. Yeah, I'm going to put this hook somewhere where I'll be able to find it again. Yeah. Okay, so we now have brand new lightning boots which unfortunately they're not menacing, but they're armored which brings us to a baffling 41 defense pre-hard mode. <laughs> Let's me fall with impunity. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully some bees next time, or definitely some summoning. We'll figure it out.